Honorable, Honorable Anemba, Speaker, yes. You are, you are minded to, Speaker, focus on this debate. I don't want to focus. Uh, speaker, I'm guided. I've always been focused, Mr. Speaker. But the impression must not be created that the bill was watered down. Mr. Speaker, what, what the other debaters on this matter fail to address is the issue that it is not mainly about the sexual lifestyles of a man and a woman, or a man and a man and a woman and a woman. Mr. Speaker, as sponsors of the bill, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, that's a hard scan, you know, and I'm going to Mr. Speaker, Honorable, Honorable Member for Temele Central, please kindly withdraw that statement. Honorable Member for Temele Central, please, we are telling all of us together, please withdraw that statement. No. I overheard you. Honorable Motala, I overheard you. Please just withdraw the statement. Really. Motala. Honorable Motala. Honorable Motala, you are my friend. Please do me that honest. Honorable Motala. Mr. Speaker. Yes. If the hands that comes and whatever statement you think I said is in it. Honorable Motala, I heard it myself. That is why I am. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, at the time, at the time you think I said something, this honorable member also said certain things. What did she say? What did she say? Honorable. Honorable Motala. She said she said a match. She said that. Honorable She said that, Mr. Speaker. You you do your withdrawal. Withdrawal. Honorable members, are you allowing me to control the house? Honorable Motala. Honorable Motala. Mr. Speaker. Honorable, you just do the honor for me. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Honorable, Speaker. just do the honors for me. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I will do what you are asking me to do. Yes. But as far as I'm concerned, and the last time I checked, our conduct here is guided by the Constitution and the standing orders of the House. And there is nowhere in the standing orders or the practice of this Parliament that I have seen in my young age in this Parliament that a statement that is purportedly made, not captured in the, in the Speaker, should, should be a statement of the house. Honor, honor, of honorable Speaker, member. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, now if you are asking me to withdraw any statement, I, I don't know which statement you are asking me to withdraw. I am only withdrawing a statement which perhaps the Speaker had me make, and I don't know the statement you had me make. So I am withdrawing the statement. Honorable, honorable, I'm withdrawing the statement. honorable Motala, don't push me to that angle. I overheard you. I'm saying just withdraw for me. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, with all due respect, you cannot ask me to do something and I refuse to do this. Several statements were made by myself and my colleagues, including Honorable Estro. So which of the statements are you asking me to withdraw? So are you inviting me to say what is to say? Honorable, Honorable Motala, member for Temali Central, I'm saying 
what you said that just withdraw from me. Honorable Motala, I'm asking you, I am not going to rehearse the words you say. You know what you say. Please just. Honorable Minority Leadership, I will instruct that you urge your member to withdraw that statement. Mr. Speaker, the statement I, Mr. Speaker, the statement I remember I made, I made several statements, but the statement I remember vividly I made, I said every single member in this house must be allowed to debate on the issue, so we know the position of every single member of this house, those who are for it and those who are against it. I have made that statement. So if, that's, if that is the statement you are asking me to withdraw, I humbly withdraw that statement. Honorable, Honorable Member, you made a specific statement in relation to the Minister. Leader, please, urge your member to withdraw that statement. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable, the Honourable, the Honourable Mutala. Is reported to have made statement. It's Mutala, not Muntaka. Uh, Honorable Mutala Mohammed is reported to have made a statement that is apparently unparliamentary. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, listening to him, he's of the view that he never spoke to the mic. Mr. Speaker, he, 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 Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Listening to him, listening to him, Mr. Speaker, listening to him also, he has indicated that he made a number of statements not into the mind. And so, therefore, Mr. Speaker, honorable, 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 and so, therefore, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge him that since the Speaker may have heard it, whatever he said, even though he did not speak into the mic, we may have heard it. I urge him to withdraw whatever he may have said. That, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, uh, you heard it, even though he did not speak to the mic, for him to withdraw it and get it removed. So, Speaker, I urge my colleague, the Honorable Mumutala, to accordingly uh, withdraw whatever statement in the interest of progress, in the interest of progress. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, I'm urging him to withdraw whatever statement that he made, even though it did not go into the mic, so that we can make progress. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, every single statement I have made, I am withdrawing every single statement. But, Mr. Speaker, it, it, Mr. Speaker, it is fair that Honorable Eslo Usu, strangely, if the Honourable finished, former minister seated if by you are finished, it's not okay. aware she made some statement. If you are also, finished, we drive this statement she made. If you are finished, it's okay. Honourable Minister, can you apologize for the guesses that you... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I sat here and repeatedly heard Honourable Mutala referred to me as a practitioner of LGBT. To the hearing of everyone in this house. I sat here, I sat here and repeatedly heard him Honorable shout Minister. at the top of his voice Honorable. and referred to me as a practitioner of LGBT. And uh, every single last one of you is behaving as if you didn't hear it. Honorable. And if in response to that I say he is mad, it is only a madman who, who will 
said to his colleague in this house as a practitioner of LGBTQ, when you haven't seen me having sexual intercourse with your wife or your daughter or your mother, Honorable Minister, when you haven't caught me having sexual intercourse with your wife or your daughter or your mother, Honorable you Minister, and refer to me in those terms. In those terms. Honorable Minister. And we call ourselves honorable members of this house. When you all hear it and pretend that suddenly you've lost your sense of hearing. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister, I beg of you. Do me that honest, please. Honorable Minister, I beg of you, just do me that honest, please. Just do me that honest. Mr. Speaker. Yes. Yes. Respectfully, honourable members. We are all honourable members of Parliament, and with respect to the titles that we bear and the constituencies that we represent, if there's any gesture I made which anyone here finds offensive, I withdraw it. However, let us all also be honest Honourable, and admit Honourable that Minister, certain things happen here Honourable which are Minister, wrong. thank you very much. Honourable Minister, thank you very much. Honourable Members, please, this particular bill is so much interested to almost every Ghanaian. So let us put ourselves together in this particular bill. I don't, I don't, I don't actually take any delight in these gestures and people also taking insinuation on members. Please, you'll get the opportunity to contribute if the time is allowed.